Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today let's paint bamboo. Now in the previous video, we left off with a finished block in, and we can think of that as the rough draft colors. Well, today we are gonna finish off the painting by polishing the colors that we have. So we're really not gonna deviate very much from the rough to the final, because when you look at these next to each other, they're really pretty similar. It's only when you zoom in that you can really see the polish difference. Now I have a confession to make. This video might be boring. Now it's only boring because what we're doing is one thing over and over and over. So here I actually have an out of context example. I've taken a single leaf and I'm gonna show you how to do the process on one leaf and then we'll go and do the final illustration. We have everything flattened down so there's no longer separation between lines and color. It's just all paint. So I'm gonna be painting on top and trying to smooth between the various colors. So with the brush tool selected, I'll get out the brush I've been using this whole time. And what I'm going to be using the most of is on-screen mixing. And I do that with the Alt key. So I hold down Alt, select a color that's there, and then I paint very gently to kind of smooth between the colors I have in action. I'm clicking Alt, painting with that new color, clicking Alt again, painting with that new color, and I'm working very gently to kind of smooth these transitions between different colors. When I do this, you'll see the lines stop being lines and just become tone. So here as this leaf sort of rolls around the edge, it gets a little darker on the edge, but it's not a line as it was before. Now it's just a transition from green to kind of darker green. And then here there'll be areas where there's sort of a stray line, no problem. I'll just use the color picker, sample the colors around it, and kind of integrate it into the painting. So I'm using very light pressure with my hand and I'm just sort of slowly pushing colors back and forth. Just sample a color, paint it down. Sample a new color, paint it down. So I'm really not deviating very much from the block in. All I'm doing is kind of smoothing out, cleaning up, and averaging these colors. So when we work on the actual illustration, there's one important difference that I didn't show in the example, and that's that we're working from reference. So for the sake of demonstration here, I've just cropped a little piece of my reference and brought it over. I wouldn't normally do this because I paint with two monitors, but for your sake, this is what I'm doing. I look at one part of the reference, and then I zoom in close, and I use a small brush, and I begin smoothing. I begin averaging between colors I've laid down, and then comparing it against my reference. And I do this back and forth. I'll kind of smooth out and get rid of errors and get rid of that line work, kind of integrate it into the painting, and all the while make sure that I'm still staying on track, that I'm making it look like the reference, not just inventing leaves from my imagination. And after I've smoothed out a bunch of these areas, then I'll also begin to add fine details. Now how much detail you put in, that's up to you. But the truth of making an observational painting like this is that there's just a lot of repetition. Here you see me doing the leaves, but the same exact process is applied to the stems. I'm working in the exact same way. I'm just sort of moving my way down the painting. And that's why I didn't really want this video to just be a straight play-by-play -play of me painting. Because in truth, this was maybe 45 minutes of refining. And if I wanted to get really detailed, it could have been an entire day. But at a moment-to-moment -moment level, really nothing changes. I'm using the eyedropper tool with the Alt key and painting colors. That's it. I use one single brush the entire time, and then eventually I end up with a polished result where I've gone over every inch of the painting and cleaned up and added detail. Now the reason all this works so smoothly is because I already established all the big questions in my rough which then just allowed me to zoom in and confidently make small changes with a small brush because I knew all the big questions were already answered. Now at the very end, the final thing I like to do is kind of clean up my edges. So here I went around and I actually made painting outside of the layer group because so far I'd been painting inside of a masked layer group which kept all of my paint inside the lines. Well, it turns out the lines weren't quite so beautiful as I wanted them to be. So at the very end, you see me sort of rotating the canvas and painting the very edge. And that just kind of gives it a nice bit of polish to finish off the image. 
But from a technical standpoint, there's nothing different about this either. I'm just using the eyedropper tool, selecting colors, and painting them down. It's really very straightforward. So I hope you've been following along with this series and making your own study, but this is gonna test your patience. But you just have to stick with it. And the longer you practice this, the better your results are gonna be. And the polish is really what makes that image shine. So get out your brush tool and go to work. Have fun. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.